Cells are the building blocks of life. They perform so many essential tasks in our bodies. Just to name a few, cells in our brain allow us to think, cells of our immune system protect us from diseases, and cells in our retinas allow us to see the world. To achieve these incredible tasks, each individual cell is working tirelessly, making proteins, transporting molecules, replicating DNA. All these activities take place in the liquid interior of the cell, which is full of biomolecules like proteins and lipids. They are organized in compartments which not only structure the cell but also make all these activities possible. Traditionally, we have thought about compartments in cells as separate rooms wrapped by a membrane that perform a specific task. They are called membrane-bound organelles and there are many of them in the cell. But there are also many membrane-less organelles, which are not bound by a membrane. These compartments are called biomolecular condensates. They are regions in which biomolecules are condensed and separated from the rest of the cell. In fact, biomolecular condensates have fascinating physical properties. They can behave like liquids. These are real images of condensates around cell nuclei. See how they can flow and drip like raindrops would do. Crucially, cells take advantage of these liquid-like properties. Molecules can be exchanged quickly across the barrier-free surface of the condensate. Conveniently, these liquid compartments are easy to assemble and disassemble, so the cell can rapidly store molecules in them. In this way, the cell can control the concentration of molecules in its interior. But there's more. Molecules can diffuse inside the condensate and meet other molecules. This makes them great homes for biochemical reactions. In short, biomolecular condensates are liquid droplets inside another liquid. But have you ever seen an ink drop in a glass of water? It diffuses until it seems to vanish. So you may wonder, how can the cell create and maintain these droplets? Of course, the cell does not plan all this like you would do. Instead, biomolecular condensates are spontaneously assembled in a process that happens under certain circumstances. Luckily, physics provides a mechanism that can explain the formation of some of them. It's called phase separation. Explore other science sketches to learn more about phase separation and other interesting topics.